What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AV. Now check this out. I know when you read that title, you seen that thumbnail, right? But you saw that 2.0. Hey, this is all about, I'm gonna start a 2.0 series, is meaning that like past videos that I've made, like I made this three years ago, it had so many questions. I even had like a little leftover honey. I added that. People was like, what was that? Did you add it? All of that. And I didn't know how to make a, you know, a proper instructional video. So 2.0 series, look out for it. But we finna get started right now with this orange chicken. So let's get it. So look, we finna just get right into it, right? So look, we got green onions. We're gonna use these green onion tops right here. This is gonna be for our garnish, right? Over here, we got an egg, soy sauce. And check this out right here. This time, I'm gonna use an orange. That was one of the things everybody asked, like how come I use lemon? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I know it's called orange uh, chicken. You can use orange zest, lemon zest, whatever, it's gonna turn out just fine. But we're gonna keep it copacetic and we're gonna do it right, right here. All right, so we got flour, cornstarch, garlic cloves, honey, and did I say orange chicken? So you know we gotta have that orange juice, right? All right, then here we got red pepper flakes, ginger, more cornstarch, cause we gotta make a slurry. And I'm gonna show you this right here before I go to the other. And this right here, this is our chicken. Look, this is that boneless, skinless chicken thigh. That's what I like to use. Now it's up to you. You see how I got a little skin on there? You guys can take that off if you want to. For me, I don't do all that extra, extra trimming. I just cut these into the bites that I want to eat and I go from there. I might trim off that because that's a little bit of a, uh, I'm gonna say that's a little bit more on the excessive side. Now, okay, and here we got vinegar. Now, I'm gonna be using my press. I got my little grater right here so I can give me a little zest. I always keep whenever I cook, I got salt and I got pepper. Then we got sesame seeds, right? Now, if you guys want to toast these, you can. For me, I'm not going to toast them. I'm just going to sprinkle it a little bit on the end just because I like the way that look. Now, I don't want to over talk it, and let's get it. All right, so look, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start by trimming these right here, right? Again, this is boneless, skinless chicken thigh. This is where, you know, you get a lot of flavor. So you just want to get yourself a knife and trim off. Yeah, I mean, they, they do an okay job. They get you in the ballpark, let me just say. And it depends on the brand. So we just want to go ahead and trim some of this. Take it like this. Then you want to cut it however you want to, you know, whatever size bites you like. Then I just set these over here in a bowl like this. And I'm not going to bore you guys. Let me go ahead and cut the rest. Okay, so look, I'm going to start off by, what we got to do is we got to get the egg whites, right? So everybody know, just take an egg, crack it, right? Then you want to open it like this. And you see how, as soon as you open it, some of the yolk, excuse me, some of the whites is going to come out. So we take it like this, we just keep going back and forth, right? Just getting, most of the egg white has come out already, making me look like I'm a pro. So we'll just keep doing like that. We only gonna get a little bit more, I'm gonna do it one more time, come back to the main part, and that's it right there. Now as you can see, we got egg whites. Okay, so you saw me do the egg whites, right? So let's go ahead and get our bowl with our chicken, right? And then let me just show you, look, look at that size. And I got something a little smaller. You'll see why at the end, you'll like the different sizes for bites, right? Now you just wanna take your egg whites. We're just gonna put this on here, pour that over the top. And what we're using that for is a binder. So you just wanna make sure everything is, you know, coated. And this is what's gonna help the flour and the cornstarch, you know, thick, stick to this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my cornstarch. It doesn't make no difference how you do it. There's no particular order or nothing like that. And then we're gonna come with our flour. I know some of you guys are gonna say, how come you didn't uh, mix it? Man, if that's what you wanna do, you can do that. Uh, just being honest with you, look, I made this so many times. I've done it that way. This is just like skipping some of the steps, you know, but this right here, I get you right, I promise you. Okay, so look, now I didn't add in my oil. Now I know you guys are gonna ask like, what kind of oil do I use? I use whatever that I had bought, you know what I mean? I, don't seem, I seem to have canola, vegetable, all kind of stuff. So I put some in here, just enough to cover the bottom, about halfway, because I'm not gonna overcrowd it, right? So now I'm gonna come over here, 
We already coated the chicken. We'll grab this. This is already hot and ready to go. We just start adding them, you know? Real simple. It's just our way. Hey, let me just say it this way. Let's fry that chicken. Okay, I've already flipped them. You guys can see the color right there. What I did was I got myself a bowl. You know what I mean? I've lined it with some, a paper towel. I shake these off and I just put them here. Real easy. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. Oh, and let me address this part right now. It's a reason why I didn't season none of my flour or my cornstarch, right? We just want to get these fried and get that crispy exterior on here. Cause listen, the flavor gonna be all in the, in the you know, in when we uh, coat them. So, look at these. Let me finish these up, the rest of them, and then we finna move forward. Okay, so this is my last batch. Just so you can see, nothing stuck. I put them in so that none of them would be, I mean, it looked like it's overcrowded, but it's not. You know, so we'll just take these, just like you saw before, and we'll just add these over here. Okay, now we're getting ready to make our sauce, right? Now, I always talk about things being super easy. Look, I want you to notice how I arranged everything. Look, that soy, orange juice, ginger, you know, red chili flakes, right? But listen, this is how we're gonna use it. We're gonna start here and we're gonna work our way down, right? Then we come back here, we're gonna go garlic, vinegar, and this right here represents my cornstarch slurry, right? Then we come back here, we got honey, then we're gonna add zest. Super easy. So, if you set your, you know, your ingredients up, like you see them right here, this is why I say it makes things super easy. Now, I feel like I'm over talking. Let's go ahead and make this sauce so we can eat these. Okay, so my pan's coming up to, you know, to temp. I can feel it. So we start with our soy. Then we're gonna add our orange juice. Soon as you mix those together, and once it gets the heat on there, it's gonna smell. I'm gonna save it for you, but I'm just gonna tell you, hey, let me know in the comment section below when you come back what you think about this. Now, this has gotten some heat on it. I'm gonna go ahead and add my ginger. Now I'm gonna add my flakes. Now, I'm gonna let that come up to like a, just a semi boil. Once it starts to do that, then I'm gonna start adding, you know it, my garlic. You see that right there? Look, see how it's starting to be? It's starting to come up on that, that simmer slash boil, but we don't wanna let it boil. That's fine right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press these. Now, I'm just letting all of this marry together underneath this heat. You can see, look, it's nice, hot and ready. So now all you gotta do is you wanna bring your vinegar and then we're gonna just start adding this. Now we're gonna let that cook. We're gonna bring this back to a boil. Now look, I'm addressing some of the questions that I had gotten you know, I just wanted to make a better instructional video so everybody can enjoy this, this recipe, you know? Super easy, I'm gonna leave it alone. We're gonna wait till we see this. Remember, I'm using an induction top, so it's gonna heat right, the, con the heat concentration is right here in the middle. So once I see that start to ripple, I know it's time to go ahead and get my cornstarch slurry to add. So what I'm gonna do now is, look, equal parts, right? So we're gonna put this in a bigger bowl, and now we're gonna add the same amount that we added in cornstarch, we're gonna add that in cold water. All right, so you can see, look, it's ready to boil. I got my cornstarch slurry. I'm just gonna add that. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cook this in here and this is gonna be our thickening agent. You'll see, look at that right there. You see how it's thickening up? It does that, it concentrates because I'm using this induction top. But I'm gonna just slow down just so you can see it. That's what you guys are gonna be looking for. But if you're using a gas stove, it'll thicken up pretty much evenly, you know? But for me, I've been cooking so long on this induction top, I just know we just wanna keep it going like this. Keep it moving. Just like we making a roux, folks. But look at that right there. Oh yeah. Now we gotta make it sweet, right? So, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my honey. Just take your honey, and then look, it's gonna be important that you use some kind of silicone spatula or something. Having the right tools for the job make a difference, folks. Because listen, if we was putting in five cups or whatever, or one cup, one tablespoon, we wanna at least be able to get it out and get it all in there, right? So, we'll just take it like you see here. And now we're gonna work this in. I'm gonna reduce my heat down just a little bit to about 320 degrees. So, look at that right there. Oh yeah, 
Now, we're gonna go ahead and add some of the zest. Now remember, last time, if you guys watched the other video, which I'm gonna leave up here in one of these links, one of these I cards, I use a lemon, but either or. So what we wanna do is now, we just wanna add some. Now we take our, and whatever you're using, you guys can use a whisk. You know what I mean? We just wanna go ahead and get that, that zesty orange flavor in here. This is the consistency you guys wanna, you should be looking for right here. Oh yeah. Once you hit it with that orange zest too, man, you can just smell it. Now I don't know about you guys, if you ever had Panda Express, I hear all kind of stuff. People saying, ah, that ain't real Chinese food and all that. But it's got to be a reason why they opening up all over the country. I hear the same thing with McDonald's. Trust me folks, if you never had this, make it super easy to make you know what i mean hey kids love it grown-ups love it the whole shebang now i'm gonna go ahead now look this is where we finna move fast i'm gonna use my hand you guys can use whatever you want to use you can use another set of you know clean your tongs and get those going but we're gonna go ahead and just put some of these in here and start coating them taking them out when i flip these over your mouth should be watering should be watering automatically right now okay so look, you just turn these over, and this would be something the more so along the lines of what you guys know. I just flip them like this, and if this right here don't say orange chicken to you, I don't know what will. Tell me what you guys think. So I want you guys to tell me what you think. Look at this right here. If this ain't fire, I don't know what is. Now let me go ahead and put this down on, on warm. You know what I mean? And now we're gonna do a little plating. Okay. As you guys are watching me, you know, plate this right here. Just think this over some white rice and a little bit more of that sauce on that. Or you can go the traditional way and just serve it with some, friend, you know, fried rice. Either way. Now I want you guys to take a look at that before I hit it with any of this garnish. And just tell me what you think about that there. Hey, when I tell you we bringing that 2.0 series back, it's back, y'all. Let's get it. Hey, so there it is. You know what, super easy to make. Hey, listen, and it's easy on the time too. You should be able to put these out in a hot minute. You know what I mean? So check this out. Serve these over a bed of rice. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, they go great with just white rice, but for those of you guys who want to level up, you know what I mean? You can go ahead and do that fried rice too. Hey, so look, enough of that talking. I'm gonna go ahead. I know I got these chopsticks right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this like this. Oh man, they still tender in the inside. You take it, look at that right there, y'all. Look at that. That right there is orange chicken at its finest. All right, so let's first. I'm gonna give it the smell test. Hmm. Hey, enough of that. Let me go ahead and get down. Hmm. Man, this is fire. Woo! Hey. A lot of times I end these videos, you know, I'm doing all that, whatever. You guys are seeing like the real reaction off of my face, though, how it is. I just want you guys to try it. I hope that this was a better, you know, informative, instructional video than that last one. You know what I mean? That's why I'm calling it 2.0. Now, remember, anytime you guys see 2.0, that's a remake of a past video back when I didn't know what I was doing. But I think I've gotten a little bit better by now. And I want to say, hey, thank you for everybody that's been following me. Listen, we just reached 1 million followers last night. Hey, so with that being said, thank you to everybody. Uh, go out, make this, come back, hit me down in the comment section below and let me know what you think about it. And with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And y'all know how I'm about to get out of here and I'm about to eat these. So check this out. Peace.